After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Well, he's going to take the red pill or the movie ends. <laughs> All I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. I wonder if the pill actually does anything or it's just a theatrical and demonstrative way to like make your choice. You know what I mean? They're both just placebos. They're just sugar pills. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Criminal Content. My name is Kobe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can stay up to date with Criminal Content on Instagram too and follow us at criminal.content and you can follow me personally on Instagram at Kobe Connell. So I'll see you guys over there. I am now going to start uh, watching The Matrix. So this is 1999, I feel, and I had watched the uh, John Wick series over on Popcorn Roulette and loved it so much more than I thought I would. Uh, and everybody was like, has she seen The Matrix? Watch The Matrix, and I hadn't. So I guess I was, what, 16 or so when it came out? Um, but yeah, I never saw it. I think it was shot in Australia too. That's the other thing where I'm from. Um, and I know it did really well. I know there's a few of them, but I never got around to seeing it. So I'm excited to watch the first one. If this video, let me say, if this video gets 100,000 views, then I will watch the other Matrix movies too. So hopefully I really do like it. So the full watch along is over on our Patreon. And with that, let's get into the Matrix. Oh look, the Warner Brothers is all green. I feel like that's like the color of the poster. This is a funny one for me because even though I've never seen it, I am aware of things just because of like pop culture, you know, like red pill, blue pill, but I don't really know what that means, but I know it's a thing. <laughs> and I also say things like there's a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> I'm sure I've said that before. Just meaning that like, I don't know, the matrix is like the world, what we think. Let's see. <laughs> Race, police, hands in your head. Do it, do it now. Yeah, I do feel like the movie's got like a whole green tint, right? From those numbers, like the binary, the code, whatever. Uh, I was gonna say maybe I've seen that before, but I'm not sure. <laughs> was that a different guy or was he was Hugo weaving at the door and then also down there? They're not like superheroes, right? <laughs> I like the outfit. All black everything, always. Was the call worth it? We need a search running. It has already begun. Okay. All right, so she didn't die. Keanu Reeves, when he's cast right, he's wonderful. You know, he's like a very specific uh, actor. But I loved all the John Wicks. I watched them on Popcorn Roulette, our sister channel, and I really, really, I loved them. They were so much fun. So I'm hoping this is um, in a similar vein. So this is 99. This is like after, just after speed, maybe what? Follow the white rabbit. rabbit. Like Alice in Wonderland. Ah! You're two hours late. That's my friend Ada. <laughs> two grand. Hold up. Yeah, this was filmed in Australia. <laughs> Are 
You're not sure if you're awake or still dreaming? Mm, all the time. Is she gonna talk? You know, get some R&R? &R? Hey, what do you think, to sure? Should we take him with us? <laughs> sure, I'll go. Did not look like a real tattoo. <laughs> That cracked the IRSD base. That was a long time ago. Jesus. Just thought, um, you were a guy. <laughs> what is the matrix? The answer is up there. It's looking for you. But that really happened, though. He went out, right? He followed the people, and that all really happened. You have a problem with authority, Mr. Anderson. You believe that you are special, that somehow the rules do not apply to you. He looks so young. Time has come to make a choice, Mr. Anderson. Either you choose to be at your desk on time from this day forward, or you choose to find yourself another job. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Mr. Reinhardt. The window cleaning squeaking is infuriating. <laughs> As it was intended. Have a nice day. It's so cold. The like the color grading and the like of this intentionally, but it's it's great. Just that blue green. You know. Do it slowly, the elevator. <laughs> the slow head turn with the sunglasses. These guys are creepy. What the hell do they want from me? It's good. I don't know, no, but if it you works. don't want to find out, I suggest you get out of there. What, what if they go now? Can he see him? Maybe he can see him and, uh, I don't know, uh, from cameras or... This is crazy. There are two ways out of this building. One is that scaffold, the other is in their custody. The window cleaning scaffolding. I like now that it was like the foreshadowing of the window cleaner. What I do, nobody Opened a closer window? And that's moving. Like that piece of vent or whatever it is isn't even secure. Oh, we can do it. Oh, that was realistic. Everything's green. It seems that you've been living two lives. Help your landlady carry out her garbage. <laughs> you disappoint me. You can't scare me with this Gestapo crap. I know my rights. I want my phone call. What good is a phone call if you're unable to speak? <laughs> eh! Eh! What is going on? Oh, so it is like supernaturally. Ooh, it does. You're going to help us. Gross. Whether you want to or not. <laughs> Ew, like a shrimp scampi, like a. Oh! <laughs> Disgusting. Oh my god! That's disgusting. I don't know what's real and what's not. Everything ends with him waking up. Like even that first night out in the club, he woke up to the alarm and now this. The phone is green, everything's green. Yes. Then go to the Adam Street Bridge. Okay, so nothing is, um, a dream. Everything keeps happening, but then he somehow ends up back in bed and wakes up, but it all is really happening. Listen to me, Copper Top. We don't have time for 20 questions. Right now, there's only one. Who's that? And I know that's not where you want to be. It's still all very metaphorical, the way they talk. What is that thing? I think you're bugged. The bug is the bug. It's on the move. No. 
You're gonna lose it's it. It's not small. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh. That is disgusting on the way out as it was on the way in. Hey, Lawrence Fishburne. The honor is mine. Please, come. I definitely approve of the dress code in this entire movie. Even though for once today I'm wearing gray, but normally it's head to toe black, so it's very much my motif. I like it. <laughs> you felt it your entire life. That there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there. There's a lot wrong with the world. <laughs> when you go to church, when you pay your taxes, it is the world that has been pulled over you. The world. Okay, so it's kind of using it in the right context. The Matrix, the world. <laughs> Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. Like, um, like a, the Matrix is like the simulation, right? Like, that's what we say. Like, that's how they joke. There's a glitch in the Matrix and something doesn't. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Well, he's going to take the red pill or the movie ends. <laughs> All I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. pill actually does anything or it's just a theatrical and demonstrative way to like make your choice you know what i mean they're both just placebos they're just sugar pills time is always against us that blonde woman looks familiar and completely unfamiliar at the same time but she's just got an interesting look uh, i don't recognize her though to disrupt your input output carrier signal so we can pinpoint your location okay not a placebo what if you were unable to wake from that dream how would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? Is he dreaming now? Is it happening for real? Location. Targeting almost there. <laughs> so was that happening in front of everybody or just to um, Keanu? Wait, that's... I can't even tell with the bald head if that's Keanu Reeves. Is that Keanu Reeves? Yeah. Yeah? So this is them like pod people plugged in to the simulation of the world, which is the Matrix. But if that's his real body, right? <laughs> Gross. That big robotic bug thing that came down, is that Morpheus and, and Trinity and to, to, to get him? Or is that like the higher powers throwing him in the trash? Welcome to the real world. Oh my god. Okay, so maybe... Am I dead? Far from it. So maybe the first part was them throwing him away, being trashed, and then they came and saved him out of that water. Rest, Neil. The answers are coming. Oh, because the other Neo isn't in the world, the real world. He's in the Matrix. So I guess these guys all have versions in the Matrix, too, that were talking to him. This is the main deck. This is the core. Made in 2016, Why wouldn't they just have the Matrix be... Say pop? Switch? Programmed to the real year. You wanted to know what the Matrix is, in Trinity? Like, if the Matrix is going to be all a fake simulation anyway, why don't the years just progress to what it really is? A little weird. Oh! This is the construct. It's our loading program. We can load anything. For your appearance now is what we call residual self-image. It is the mental projection of your digital self. Huh! 
If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. This is the world that you know. And is that meant to be New York? Or are they meant to be like Twin Towers? Because this is pre-2001. You mean artificial intelligence? A singular consciousness that spawned an entire race of machines. Mm. No, who struck first, us or them? But we know that it was us that scorched the sky. <gasps> this is AI talk, but like 25 years ago? We've been dependent on machines to survive. <laughs> Fate, it seems, is not without a sense of irony. Huh. <laughs> had found all the energy they would ever need. Endless fields. Where human beings are. Oh my god. I came to realize the obviousness of the truth. What is the Matrix? It's all pretty disgusting. The Matrix is a computer generated dream world to keep us under control into this. No. Duracell battery. <laughs> Stay away from me. Stay away from me. I don't believe it. Now I'm going to be obsessing over if this is possible. <laughs> you don't have any holes? Nope. Me and my brother Dozer were both 100% pure, old-fashioned, homegrown human, born free right here. <laughs> Genuine child of Zion. Zion. The party would be. It's a city. How many people are there? <laughs> That's him learning. Yeah, I think he likes it. How about some more? Hell yes. Oh, I thought we were gonna have like a training montage of him like actually learning and training. It's all digital. They're just like uploading drunken boxing. What you must learn is that these rules are no different than the rules of a computer system. Some of them can be bent. Others huh. can be broken. And that's why they do some superhero type stuff because they bend rules. Imagine that. Become a martial art pro in 30 seconds. Weakness is not your technique. <laughs> but he's good in this. Everybody was commenting on the John Wick videos that like, oh, he studied all these. Oh, this is fighting Neo. Martial art for John Wick. But if this predates that, he, um, he already had like some base training. You think that's air you're breathing now? But so it's all mental if it's not physical. Look at these neurokinetics, they're way above normal. <laughs> you have to let it all go, Neo. Fear, doubt, and disbelief. And this is how they were jumping in that opening scene across the buildings, and the other cops were like, it's impossible. Because that was in the Matrix. And in the Matrix, they can bend the stuff. You just have to believe that you can do it. <laughs> Everybody falls the first time. Mm -hmm. If you're killed in the Matrix, you die here. The body cannot live without the mind. But you can survive a big fall like that because it's not real, but you're hurt, but you can't actually die. But you can't actually die if you die in the Matrix. Well, that makes the stakes way higher than I thought. I just keep wondering if Morpheus is so sure. Why doesn't he take him to see the Oracle? Morpheus will take him when he's ready. This guy, he always seems untrustworthy and stuff. Is it bad boys he's in? Or he just seems... Hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. Are you listening to me, Neo? I know her. Her name's Fiona. <laughs> they can move in and out of any software still hardwired to their system. That means that anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. Huh. We got trouble. I like it. <laughs> So in the Matrix, where is his body? Like, where is the other version of him? Or that's not a thing, because you have it's where your mind is. Oh, yeah. What a mind job. 
So you're here to save the world. <laughs> the Matrix is telling my brain that it is juicy and delicious. After nine years, you know what I realize? See? You don't care. Ignorance is bliss. I said that. He just, like, it's a little typecast, but I feel like he's always... I can get you the man who does. Morpheus. He, see, he just has that untrustworthy, double-cross you vibe, and I was right. I pay no attention to these hypocrites, Neo. To deny our own impulses is to deny the very thing that makes us human. The woman in the red dress. Yeah, her name's Fiona. She, back when this was made, I think, she was d dating a friend of mine. <laughs> What's the phone part? Because in the beginning, remember she got there like there's a phone on blah blah and blah blah the corner and then she jumped in the phone booth and the truck hit her but she was gone. I told you I can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. Hello, Neo. This is the Oracle's apartment. <laughs> These are the other potentials. You can wait here. Potentials of being the one? They're all so young. Oh, they're already bending the matrix. And bending spoons. Instead, only try to realize the truth. What truth? There is no spoon. Oh, a little Australian accent. What's really going to bake your noodle later on is, would you still have broken it if I hadn't said anything? That's what I said. I'm not the one. Sorry, kid. You got the gift, but it looks like you're waiting for something. He's not the one. Green plate, green walls. Poor Morpheus, without him, we were lost. Why did Morpheus think it was him in the first place? And no one, not you, not even me, can convince him otherwise. He believes it so blindly that he's going to sacrifice his life. Oof. Take a cookie. I promise by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain. He's got to tell him he's not the one. Suicide doors on the Lincoln Continental. A black cat went past us, and then another that looked just like it. How much like it? Was it the same cat? Might have been. I'm not sure. Switch. APOP. What is it? A deja vu is usually a glitch in the Matrix. Glitch in the Matrix! Oh, no. Where do they have all those guns from? That's it, right? The kid, mouse... He, he's dead in the Matrix and in the real world, and... Tank, find a structural drawing of this building. Find it fast. Aww. Oh. Do the rest of them know that Mouse is dead? <laughs> I mean, I feel like that was an accident. Accidental cough, but still. In the wall. And sneeze. Oh. It's an agent! Get Neo out! Oh my god. No! Oh. Oh. Because they all believe he's the one. Is this Morpheus risking his life? And you are a Smith. Agent Smith. Smith, of course. <laughs> No one has ever gone up against an agent and won. I was gonna say before when Hugo Weaving was doing the very first interrogation in that room with Keanu, um, uh, where they put the bug in him, it's so dramatized and the way he speaks and it's this very, you know, melodic kind of thing, but it really works. So he does a great job, Hugo Weaving, at this character because it's it would be easy to make that kind of silly and caricature-y 
um, that whole secret service you know, them on their comms. But the movement and the, like, speech pattern and the stiff Take it. body language, he does it very well. <laughs> and believably, for the character, I like it. Ooh. That was the end of Morpheus? Is Morpheus alive, Tank? Yes, they're moving him. I don't know where to yet. He's alive. Yeah, that was a bit anticlimactic to be his death. <sighs> you first, Neo. He gave Morpheus to the agents. Why does he have to kill his team as well? You killed them. What? Oh, God. I'm tired, Trinity. Being cold, of eating the same God damn. But all you have to do is give him Morpheus. No, why kill the rest of them? If you have anything terribly important to say to Switch, I suggest you say it now. So did that kill them, though? Because that's different to what he did. The... He just unplugged those two. I don't believe it. <laughs> There's the miracle to save Neo. Maybe he is the one. For some reason, I thought it was just gonna go flying into the building. Say, you're a civilization. Because as soon as we started thinking for you, it really became our civilization. There could be a problem. What are they doing to him? They're breaking into his mind. Mm. Trinity, Zion's more important than me, Aww. or you, or even Morpheus. So they can unplug him and kill him. You're gonna kill him. Kill Morpheus. We don't have any other choice. He would want them to, I'm sure. They're dead, in either case. We have no choice but to continue as planned. Deploy the Sentinels immediately. He's great, Hugo Weaving. It's a tough role sometimes when they're they seem like they're two-dimensional. You have to find that third. Morpheus believed something, and he was ready to give his life for what he believed. I understand that now. I believe I can bring him back. But, the, but he believes he can bring him back knowing he's not the one, though, or that he is in... There is another organism on this planet that follows the same pattern of a virus. <laughs> Okay, so what do you need? Besides a miracle. Guns. <sighs> Neo. It's just software, right? Upload it. Once Zion is destroyed, there is no need for me to be here. Do you understand? Oh. Are those Keanu's boots? The jacket. I like it. Let's go. Yeah, Neo. Would you please remove any metallic items you're carrying? Keys, boost change. <laughs> back up. Same back up. And I guess maybe they don't see it as killing innocent life because they're just like, you know, projections in the simulation and they're just pods for alien food, you know? That image I feel like I've seen. They look fantastic! <laughs> the jackets are everything. <laughs> Serious shell gazings. That looks amazing. <laughs> no what? Oh, cause he took his comms out. He took his earpiece out. But that agent, Hugo Weaving, you know, that was all very 
emotional and passionate and personal. Is that not normal, that kind of desperation? <laughs> Find them and destroy them. He can morph into anybody, anybody that's out there in the Matrix. The agents can become. That's how come in the opening I was like, was he at the door or in the street? They can dodge bullets. Help! But so can you! That's cool. Only human. Dodge this. Dodge this. But then the agent didn't die, just the vessel, right? The real helicopter pilot. I've never seen anyone move that fast. <sighs> Wasn't fast enough. He is the one. He is the one. Maybe Operator. the Tech Oracle. Pilot program for a B-212 helicopter. Just told him what he needed to hear, you know, like he wasn't ready yet, or, I don't know, or, you know, if he, if he didn't think he was, if he didn't think he wasn't, he might not have then gone to save Morpheus. You know what I mean? If he thought he was the one, I don't know, then he might have thought, let Morpheus die, I'm the one, you know? So he probably is the one! <laughs> These shots of all of the bullets and shell casings and wall, drywall, and stone going everywhere just looks so good. <laughs> he was gonna make the jump because he knows he just has to think it, but he got shot. Oh my god. <laughs> There's not one warm tone in this whole movie, not one orange, red, you know. Is she not? Jump out. Oh my God. Do you believe it now, Trinity? She told me. She I'm... told you exactly what you needed to hear. Neo, sooner or later you're going to realize, just as I Ha! There's a difference between knowing the path and walking. He needed to hear that he wasn't to then act this way and become it. I went ready. Subway station. State in Balbo. I'm getting worked up. So the phone just shoots them back and leaves. The, the body disappears. The body version in the Matrix, the simulated body, just disappears. Maybe we'll see it in real time this time. Afraid of what it could mean if I do. Can you tell them later? Pick up the phone and go back to safety. What are you doing? <laughs> What the hell just happened? An agent. She just made it. And the phone's broken. Mr. Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cool moment, though. They're like, if you ever come face to face with when you do what we all do, you run. You're empty. So are you. So are you. He's not scared. He thinks he can beat him. He can be just as fast. He dodged bullets like they did on the roof. Amano, amano. He's equal, hopefully better. But he can die a normal death. Like he's still a human in the simulation. Like if he was to fall in front of a train and get hit by a train or something, he would die. Oh my God. It's killing him. The fighting is like equal, but he is killing him.
Like if he shot him, he'd die. See, careful, train could come. <laughs> but still, it's just the it's just the homeless guy. It's not the agent. What the fuck? No, just the shit at my phone. I got the back phone. I feel like that's Surrey Hills in the city, CBD, Sydney. The back door. See, he can be anyone. He can be every single person that, oh, and Morpheus said that, they're everyone and no one, right? Like, they could be anybody that he comes, uh, that he runs on. Or that he's headed to. jump up like super fast if his mind believes it like the way that they jump over the building super long distance because they believe it can he like lizard up the building I feel like I wasn't even paying attention and he just... Can't be. That's what I mean by he could just get ahead. He'd be anyone standing in front of him. Goodbye, Mr. Anderson. No. That's not it, because he's in the others, right? He's in the other movies. You can. Well, then if she knew she was going to fall in love with the one, she knew that it was none of those little kids in the waiting room learning how to harness their powers. I love you. But how does that help him not be shot in the... Dodge bullets. He goes, you won't have to. You won't have to dodge them. He is the one. I don't know why I feel like I'm gonna cry. But is he not actually shot? Or he just tells himself, there is no spoon, there are no bullets. Oh, he's just doing whatever he wants now. So that's because it's all like the mind stuff. So she gave him that belief and he just, I guess, expelled them and healed himself because he knows it's not real and literally being cut in half and just willed himself back together. Talk about cutting it fine at the last minute there. To tell you how it's going to begin, I'm going to hang up this phone. And then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. <laughs> oh, he can literally just fly now. 
right? Because he just can do whatever he wants. Oh, that's crazy. That was so good. Okay, I loved that. There are, uh, look, I gotta say, some of these movies that I get to watch here with you guys uh, are awesome. Um, most of them are, but that was fun. That was so great. So now, wh where does it go? Like, he can literally do anything he wants, so he just flies off at the end. There are no rules for him. Um, so then, because there's more in the series, like, isn't he just, like, God? He can, you know, he's the one, he can do whatever. Um, I kind of want to watch more. But I'll wait for you guys to tell me if you want me to. So like I said, if this video gets 100,000 views, I will... Joe Pantoleo, Pantoliano, that's the guy that's always uh, dicey and untrustworthy. Um, but yes, if it gets 100,000 views, I will keep watching The, uh, the Matrix. Because I'm kind of... I'm interested too. That was a blast. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching that with me. And uh, thank you for suggesting it. Uh, on the John Wick videos that I would like it because you were right, I did. So this has been Kobe for Criminal Content and I will see you next time. Bye.